Philippine Air Force technicians got a briefing on AIM-9 missile launcher maintenance during subject matter expert exchanges SMEs, in the ongoing Cope Thunder 23-1 exercises with the U.S. Pacific Air Forces last May 4-5. The AIM-9 is an American infrared homing air-to-air -air missile known as the Sidewinder. It is the primary armament of the FA-50PH light jet fighters along with its 20mm automatic cannons. Sidewinder is also among the air-to-air -air weapons of all U.S. jet fighters. On May 4-5, 2023, the Philippine Air Force 5th Fighter Wing and the Pacific Air Forces engaged in various SME during the Cope Thunder 23-1 exercise held at Clark Air Base and Basa Air Base in Pampanga. Topics discussed include the AIM-9 Missile Launcher Maintenance, Mission Planning Cell MPC, Operations, Communication Security COMSEC, Organization, and the Dedicated Crew Chief DCC, Program, Air Force Spokesperson Colonel Ma. Consuelo Castillo said in a statement forwarded to reporters Monday, the objectives of these SMEs are to enhance the knowledge of Philippine Air Force mission planners, communications operators and maintenance officers, and personnel in performing their roles in various operations necessary for mission accomplishment," she added. Additionally, the 5th FW also engaged in defensive counter-air training during the Cope Thunder 23-1 exercise at Clark Air Base to enhance interoperability between forces and safeguard critical and protected assets in the Philippines, Castillo said. Cope Thunder 23-1, also known as Court PH 23-1, which runs from May 1 to 12, aims to coordinate the various offensive and defensive tactics of different aircraft. The original Cope Thunder exercises, which provided regular flight training for U.S. pilots and those of allied nations, were first held in 1976 and continued annually in the Philippines until 1990. CTPH 23-1 marks the revival of the bilateral exercise between the two air forces after more than three decades. The second iteration of this air exercise, dubbed CTPH 23-2 will be held from July 2 to 21.